Welcome. I want to show you the basic use of Exif tool on Linux. If you don't have Exif tool installed, I will put a link to the installation process in the description. The first thing I want you to do is to enter the manual with this command. Man Exif tool. The manual is really big and I want to point your attention to a certain part of it. I'm going all the way down, here I missed it, here it is. Reading examples. This show you a lot of examples on how you can use Exif tool. You have the basic stuff like to wipe all the metadata. You have more complicated examples and basically it can help you learn how to use this tool. And that's pretty much it for the manual. Before working with Exif tool, it's good to have a backup of the files you're gonna work with, in case you lose the original. I gonna work with the file I have on my desktop. The left column means tags. The right column means information of each tag. There are two things you need to know. First, you cannot change the basic data of the file, like the type, the version, the size, or it corrupt the file. Exif tool will not allow you to do that anyway. Secondly, you cannot invent a random tag. The tag has to exist in reality and in the library of Exif tool. Otherwise, Exif tool will not accept that. Let me show you what I mean. Let's try to change the JFIF version. I can't because it's one of the data that defines the file. Let's try to add a random tag to it. It does not allow me to do that, because this tag does not exist. Let's do something that does exist. Let's add a comment, an artist name and GPS coordinates to the file. I did this before, that's why I have the shortcuts. Here I am adding a comment and an artist in the same line. You can do it separately, you can do it in any way you want, as long as the syntax is correct. And for the coordinates. That's it. Now let's look at the file. So, I added the grass lower. This is something that Exif tool added on its own. Here part of the coordinates. Here is my message. And more coordinates. Now, I want to try to change something from the new things Exif tool added on its own. And I'm gonna show you the correct syntax, how you write tags in the code. Here is this line. I copy this tag. I copy this tag here and I remove the space bars. And that's how it reads tags without the space bars. So let's change it to something that supposed to make sense. Let's do it like that. I didn't specify the file. Here. Let's see. Yep. It's indeed changed the data. And the picture still works. So you see there are some things that you will be able to change. And pretty much that all I wanted to show you about Exif tool. It's really simple to use. You can go to the creator's website. I will put it in the description. And look for more information for more syntaxes that you want to try. Now about files that you can download from the internet, not every file will have GPS coordinates or extra data. And uh, it's easier to make it yourself just to show the example. One last thing. Let's wipe out all the data we added to the file. The file is empty again. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you for watching.